Welcome to the Joseph Evaldi Podcast. This is the special Christmas Eve edition. And what I will talk about tonight, or actually this afternoon. (laughs) Usually it's at night when I do podcasts, but this is the afternoon. What I will discuss about this afternoon on the podcast is a little bit on goals. Well, maybe not goals. Maybe about giving, about how we deal with our family on Christmas. Or the holidays, wherever you celebrate. And I'm going to start about talking about the idea of giving. The idea started with three wise men who gave gifts on Christmas. Or maybe even before then. Well, the idea of giving gifts on Christmas has happened a long time. Even giving gifts on birthday, on whatever religion you celebrate. And when we give, we give ourselves to another and they return the favor back. The season is filled with madness and sometimes you want to try to outdo your gift that you got the year before. Eventually you can't go any further and you take a hit. Now, what I'm going to discuss is about families. And about the pecking order and about how families in Christmas don't see eye to eye and don't get along. They always bump heads. Rather it's one person want to open up gifts one time, the other person doesn't. And calamities like this create a backlash at Christmas. An argument. I need an argument. And sometimes it's a family member out there. Sometimes, well, there's many things. But the idea of the holidays is to try to keep the peace where one person might not get along with the other. And you become the referee most of the time. You try to keep peace with one member. You try to keep peace with the other member. And then everything happens. The proverbial blank hits the fan. And... Do we capture the meaning of the of the holiday? What we remember most is the biggest event that took place in the holiday. Whatever it is. Laughter with family, everything else. Or we remember the worst thing about the holiday. 
argument. Well, holidays are designed to be chaotic. They're designed to be stressed. I was just traveling in the road and there were cars everywhere. I guess it's tis the season. And how do you deal with that stress? How do you deal with the stress knowing that you're going to see a family member that's going to say that one thing that's going to ruin your Christmas? How do you deal with it? More after the break. Well, once I... Okay, more after the break. He was praying for a miracle in his life. He had been poor and wanted a better life than he had been living. He knew it was going to be another Christmas coming up, and it was the day before Thanksgiving. He was about to leave, and then he bumped into Chris. Joseph said, Ouch! Chris said, Keep your head up. You might miss something. I think I am. It's the holidays again, and I'm in more debt than before. I don't have any hours at work, and my books aren't selling. Chris says, I'm granting you three wishes, and they will be granted Christmas Day. You'll be amazed how much your life would change. Joseph said, doubting Chris's words, I don't believe it, Will. You're joking. I'm dead serious. Like Joseph witnessed on Christmas, the three wise men presented him with three gifts. Your name is entitled to these three wishes. One will be granted on Christmas Eve. The other two are on Christmas Day. And your hard work will pay off, despite how much you think. These wishes will make you feel like a child again. I ask you one gift to me, and that you will meet me every Sunday at the coffee house for two hours, your treat. Okay, if these wishes come true, then I'll be true to my part of the gift, even if I doubt it. What are your wishes? Joseph said, You'll never guess what happened. Jen said, What is it now? Joseph said, I ran into a guy who said he would grant me three wishes for Christmas. I don't believe it, though. So you ran into a genie? Well, not exactly, but he said his name was Chris, and he said he wanted to meet me every Sunday leading up to Christmas. And you're going to do it? It doesn't hurt unless my wishes won't be granted. What did you wish for? Joseph's father said, I'll talk more to you later, but today is a day to be thankful. What are you thankful for, Joseph? I'm not sure there is one thing I'm thankful for this year. I had a crappy year. That was Finding Christmas, the Story of Joseph, written by Joseph Vivaldi, narrated by Adam Zenz. And that is now available on ACX, Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. Also available in paperback and available on the Amazon Kindle. Back to the podcast. Um, back at the podcast. And... Christmas. How do you deal with family? I'm not even discussing the in laws. That's it. That's another story. Oh boy. But. But. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. Little, little 
Christmas humor. <laughs> That's all. Or holiday humor. How do we deal with our significant other's family and how do we deal with our family? Well, we just... That's what I'm going to discuss. Touchy situations. We just have to allow. We just have to not force anything or put pressure on any situation that we just got to say our piece beforehand and not pressure anything from happening that you don't want to happen. There's always going to be that family member that's going to ready to say something stupid from years before and stuff like that. It's the season for that. Also, you're going to be in situations that you don't want to be. You have to ask, answer questions and everything else. Well, it's a matter of being cordial. Some are going to wonder when this is going to happen or that's going to happen. Well, holidays are full of these questions. And you prepare yourself by doing what you do every year. <laughs> you pray to God. <laughs> it's it's a, not, not a joke to be funny, but it is true. It is the most time that everybody goes to church around Christmas. Pay respect to God, pay respect to the birth, pay respect to your family, and you pray. You pray for peace. Peace between those two siblings that are fighting, or family members that are fighting, or whatnot. You pray for a better year that this year, the next year won't be the same as this year. And we repeat the cycle over and over again until it's our time. Well, I am going to discuss this. I'm going to discuss the nature of the holiday. And the nature is if you Christian, the nature of one birth in the dead of winter when Everything else is dying is a sign of a birth of a season that will come. And I guess that's why we gather around every year. And everyone has their holidays, everyone can celebrate this season. You don't have to be, as Rick Levine said on, when he was talking about the winter solstice, you don't have to be Christian to celebrate this holiday. And I'm going to elaborate. I am born in the Catholic faith, so I celebrate. But 